Hi, I'm Mary Elizabeth, and this is what is in my tiny pink bag. So I have this little Chanel ribbon because if you buy anything from the Chanel store, you get it packaged so nicely with a little ribbon. So I highly recommend, even skincare, it is worth it if you have a Chanel near you to go and buy it there. The customer service is amazing and you get a little Chanel ribbon, so. My bag is actually J. Crew, and I love it. It's tiny. Oh, got a lot of stuff in here though. A lot of people comment on how much I can fit in my bag, so I thought this might be helpful. It's a tiny little bag, which is kind of nice, little crossbody when you're shopping and stuff, and I sort of love that it has the little like brass hardware that's not like shiny, shiny gold. So what's in my bag? I have glasses, they're not Miu Miu, but I use this case a lot because it's pink. And it's just soft. I feel like I always get gla like glasses cases that are huge and gnarly. And usually these are on my face, on my head, on my shirt, so they don't take up so much room in my purse. These glasses are made by Westward Leaning. Actually got them at Crossroads, but I love them. They're just kind of classic, handmade in California. Next up, oh, my dog stuff. I have a dog license in here. Turns out it's illegal not to license your dog. I have no idea. And it's supposed to be on her immediately and of all times. You know, I feel like too many accessories clutter an outfit. No? And then we have her here as my emotional support dog. Access is required by federal law. Next up, I have a little Louis Vuitton wallet. So I have like the big kind of like, I don't know what you call it, like wide woman's wallet from Louis Vuitton. And it's like my favorite thing in the world. It just kind of is one of those things that looks brand new forever and it's expensive, but it just like wears in and wears in and wears in. I got this actually also from Crossroads. Um, but it's a Louis Vuitton men's wallet. And I bought it because I always sell, if you guys don't know what Crossroads is, it's like resale. So you buy and sell there and I'm always selling stuff because I'm constantly organizing my closet and I always have trade, so I had this. So it didn't actually cost me anything and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do the tiny men's Louis Vuitton wallet so that it will fit in a tiny bag, you see? And then when I got this, I was so excited because I already had this. You know what I mean? No one's mad a little LV. And I gotta say, who's mad at this extra little pouch? I just think, y'all do a good job. You do good, you do good work. American Skin Institute. If you guys need a dermatologist. <laughs> Dr. Isla Ryder, he's good. He's the medical director, assistant clinical professor, USC School of Medicine. So I just went and saw him. He's awesome. You've got some M&Ms here. I'm surprised I haven't eaten these yet, if you want to know the absolute truth. I think I just like anything that's pink with an F on it. <laughs> Guys, I make it personal. We had to get tiny Altoids to fit in my <laughs> tiny bag. Anybody care for an Altoid? It's a curiously strong mint. Are you prepared for it? Sonia Kashuk is amazing. I kind of always have these on me because you never ever know. I have the liner Rose Delicat 02. Um, Pink Whisper. They have the best mods ever. I think her application, look how tight. There's, this is a size it goes, okay? Let me show you how to use it. Oh, wait, I think I have different lip color on. I'm just gonna mix it, and you'll see that this little pinky nude color is amazing, and the liner is always a good idea. Oh, see? That color is pretty. It's like a natural, like super pretty color. Ooh, and then I have a little perfume. So whenever anybody gives me samples, it somehow goes into my purse because they're just tiny and so cute. This is Byrito Mojave Ghost, which, Byrito, I feel like I just love scents. So basically, how to be prepared. <laughs> you know, I'm looking for love in all the right places, hopefully. So I want to be prepared for that. This I really need to put on my keychain. I'm telling you, you just never know when you need a Swiss Army knife. I highly recommend for everyone to have one. So we have scissors, a knife, and a nail file. Oh, I forgot about this part. You can slide out of the top. So, Girl Scout promise. Then I have a little gold pen because I think 
pens are important. You never ever know what you might need to write down, even though I put almost everything in my phone. It's my phone. What's well, usually in here? But it's broken. <laughs> It's somewhere and it's broken, and basically I need a phone case, but it's small so it fits into my purse that way. And here's my broken phone. But it's rose gold. And then I have another kind of chapstick, which I love. Wild Carrot Herbals, tinted with mica, so this is totally natural. Handmade in Oregon. Love Oregon. Around here, no offense, but West Coast is the West Coast, just saying. Um, and the tint of mica is really nice. <laughs> because it just gives you a little bit of color, and I love that. Okay, last little thing. Look how cute this little pouch is. Anytime, any kind of little pouch, little container, I want. <laughs> I want, I want, I want. I just think it's like so cute. So in here, surprise, surprise, some more samples. I have NARS Sheer Low Light in number four. Um, and they gave this to me at the makeup counter when I bought other makeup, and I keep it in there because you never know. If you're like out. I, I mean, basically, if you're really out and you've got to come up with something fast, I mean, we've got perfume, mouth freshener, lip liner, lipstick, a little cover up, a little scent, and a tiny bit of this is actually Chanel moisturizer, which I have the big one now, but I've barely used any of this. It just goes so far. So, a little Chanel moisturizer, I mean, life is gonna be okay, basically. You're not gonna be dry, you're gonna be covered, and fabulous, and happy, because you have chocolate. That's what's in my bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've never done a what's in my bag video, so I hope you guys like what's in my small bag. I will have more to show and share. Let me know what you guys think, and hopefully you like all my new content. Um, yeah, I love you guys, and I will see you next time.